This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from Eternatus, Zation, League Battle Decks, you name it. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. And you can uh, sell cards as well as buy cards from people all across Europe. And it's very easy to use. So definitely uh, check the website out by using the affiliated link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. No, this is not a team deck. Don't click away. This is real, legit competitive TCG information. Seeking has actually gotten into a top eight out of a 200 man tournament. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. And I will thank to Attila G. He's a player from the Netherlands, and he also actually played in the Sleepy Seniors, if I'm not mistaken, also uh, piloting that deck to quite the success. So, what Seeking is all about is discarding energies from the opponent's active Pokemon. Flip three coins for every has discarded an energy on the opponent's opponent's active. If you don't like the result of the coin flip, go with Glimwood Tangle. This is all about discarding all the energies of the opponent and we also have Crushing Hammers by our side so technically you can get rid of a whole lot of energies on the opponent. Let's say you boss uh, something like uh, a Picaram and just uh, head, get three heads simultaneously. All of his energies are gone, they're gonna be stuck in the active. We also have Kryagonal to use Frozen Lock so the opponent isn't an item lock. Very great against Blounds by the way, you just get rid of a lot of energies and if they don't welder or do something instantly you can just go Frozen Lock so they don't have enough energies to last them through the game. We also have Absol, uh, we saw this before in the Melodic deck, here again this is going to be here for trapping opponents, so you can use Boss Zordis on a huge retreat Pokemon with Kragonal as well as Absol in play, you're gonna be trapping them uh, simultaneously and that's gonna be awesome. And as soon as they like, want to do something else, you can just get rid of the opponent's energies with, of course, Team Yelgrunts and all that. So we're going to see how uh, Seeking is able to uh, discard all the energies of the opponent. As mentioned, you can actually get rid of the water energy on the ADP, which uh, means you don't need Latios, Jackson, this one prize deck. And Zacian is in here to just draw a lot of cards in the early phase of the game, where you're just finding your little Goldines here. They're not going to be attacking anytime soon, although you do have Pierce to slap 50 damage. That could be a game-winning scenario. If the opponent is out of energies, you can start taking the prize card. So big shout out to Attila G from the Netherlands uh, to actually put this deck on the map. And uh, we're going to see if this Energy Disruption deck, aka Stall Kryganol deck, is good enough to get some W's on the Versus ladder. If you guys are excited for this list, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button because it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And let's see here, what are we up against? First. Also, this was a suggestion that was put on the in the comment section. If you have a suggestion uh, of me playing another deck, be sure to put it in the comment section and I'll be taking a quick look at it for sure. Okay, this is a terrible way to start off. We just have a Goldeen and the opponent is playing a Wilder deck so they could be Weldering and just knocking us out. So I cannot promise you guys we'll get a lot of W's here. Ooh, Leon. He's probably playing that Charizard deck, right? We'll see. We got the rest of the two. Okay, interesting. We get a boss. Mm, interesting. We do have Cynthia Catlin, so at least we can do something with that. Let's use this. We have yeah, Glimwood Tangle. Either way, we can get rid of the opponent's energy, but he can slap. Like, if he get, uh, gets a Welder, we immediately will be in a difficult position. Leon and uh, just and then Gorman dies. Okay, fine. Interesting for sure. We have Cryagonal, that's pretty nasty. So he's never gonna be able to get this guy in the active position. That's very interesting for sure. Okay, Cynthia and Catelyn. I don't think we'll need the Great Catcher because he's just gonna be relying on Gorman dice. Let's just draw three cards. We have Cryagonal, we have Seeking. There's a Rosa, so if we go down, it doesn't matter at all. Retreat, yeah, discarding energies right now is not the biggest plan in the world. So let's just pass it out, waiting it out with the Lily Spooky Doll. As mentioned, Charizard could definitely be slapping a huge number of damage onto us. He's just getting Charmeleon and uh, we will use Kryagonal very shortly. So another Leon. We just need to get rid of all the opponent's energies. That is our main concern. Other than that, we don't need to do a lot. So let's just go with this flow. And uh, yeah, just go with the Lily Spooky Doll putting it on the bottom of the deck and uh, we're just gonna use Kryagonal a little bit to just uh, stall a little bit. We have Frozen Lock. So not right now the Snorlax is not going anywhere. Just because he cannot use Switch and Scoop Up Net. So he has all the Leons. That's all he's able to do here. 
Uh, we're just waiting it out until we are ready. We can also like knock out the Charmeleon with the uh, Seeking if we want to, but we're just gonna wait it out. That would be pretty interesting. So that means we, we've we taken a prize card. This list is not like Lieutenant Surge or anything. So interesting for sure. <clears throat> Maybe we can just win by using Frozen Lock the entire game. He's not attaching any energies. Another Seeking. Yeah, we're just safely setting ourselves up to get like lots of Seekings in play. He has to weld rank KO at one point. Interesting. We can Marnie him to a low hand size. Slapping down this. So he might slap down something else like maybe... Yeah, we're just gonna Marnie. It's fine. We're gonna try and establish a couple of Seekings here. He could slap down multiple... But we have Crushing Hammers here. Interesting. Still doesn't have access to other stuff. Frozen lock. Doesn't seem to be attaching energy. He's probably waiting it out. He can gormandize again. But having three seekings, that will be busted, right? I wonder if we should attach or not. I'm just gonna wait it out. <laughs> Frozen lock, okay. This should be like a very weird gameplay, but this is a stall deck. You know how the Netherlands are with, of course, Sander Wojcik and Attila G now uh, also uh, play, uh, playing with a weird deck. The only concern is that we just need to get rid of all of the opponent's uh, Pokemon. Okay, he's not doing anything at all. Yeah, we're just gonna Frozen Lock until the Snorlax is gone. He probably will attack with Charizard later. I wonder why he didn't get any Pokemon. Search your deck for three basic Pokemon different types. Probably didn't work out. Second Seeking in the house. Frozen Lock. Okay, Snorlax is almost gone. Then we can knock out the Charmeleon. I wonder what is going on here. Maybe he wants to wait with evolving. I don't know what's going on. He probably should evolve instantly. <clears throat> okay, we also have access to Absol, which we can get out, but it's not necessary at all. Look at that. The Frozen Lock is just too good. Having uh, just item lock in the opponent, no evolution instance. Okay, there is the Charizard. He's not doing anything though with it. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's hanging on to his welders. Maybe. We don't want to take prize cards to be honest. He's just waiting it out. Waiting it out. If we use boss and then put him to a low... I wonder what is going on or what we technically should do. Maybe we can, or actually next turn, we're actually gonna go with Marnie. Maybe he whiffs on the welder. We have so many crushing hammers in hand though. Okay, giant heart, that's bad. We did, uh, we did establish to get lots of seekings in play. Every single time he needs to attack, he will need to welder. Air balloon, air balloon, water energy. Sometimes that could be a game changing scenario. Just need to get rid of all of the opponent's energy. So there's no need to uh, go crazy. There is uh, Absol, more retreat cost and Marnie. Hopefully he webs on the welder so we can poke a little bit of damage with the Krag and all. <laughs> also getting rid of the uh, giant heart is huge here. Let's do this. Frozen lock. Poof. Okay, no Gorman dies. Four cards in hand. He still has access to battle sense though. We've taken a prize card with Krag and all. How crazy. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. What is this? What is this fella doing? Okay, uh, what to do is that like Cynthia Catlin. Mm -hmm. Wee! We get an Amarni back. Drawing more cards. We have that uh, washing energy here, which can actually slap for more damage later down the line. I wonder why he's not using the battle stance here. We also have the air ordinary rod. Frozen lock. 20 damage. We need to do that uh, a couple of times and then <laughs> Seeking can actually finish the job. No access to Quick Ball and all that is like huge. Okay. He's setting himself up with a Sobble. Okay, this is an interesting list for sure. Frozen Luck again. I don't know if he has Welder or not. Doesn't look like it. 
Maybe we can like boss this little fella before it evolves. Don't know if he has Wilder, that's like the issue here. Frozen Lock, poof. Probably has like lots of rare candies, right? Doesn't seem to be too crazy stuff going around. He has Giant Heart, so maybe we should wait and like the Frozen Lock. I don't know if they're uh, sufficient enough, but they're doing the job pretty fine. Didn't have to resort to Seeking at all here. We can like, if he knocks us out, he has to get rid of, okay. Professor Oak setup? Charmander again. I don't know what his game plan is though. Well, sure. Dang it. He has to use Battle Sense, right? Once during your turn, look at the top three cards, discard all the dots, but he doesn't want to discard his resources. That's probably what it is. Probably. Yeah, this guy is almost knocked out. Thanks to item lock. How many items could there be in the hand? For real. Could have like knocked him out instantly with Seeking, but I don't want him using Weird Candy for his uh, Inteleon here. Now he's using Battle Sense, okay. <laughs> they just concede. I would concede against this deck as well. Like, that's so nasty. Item lock, item lock, getting rid of all the energies with Seekings. That's annoying, right? Like the opponent is not able to set up in the first place thanks to Cryogonal. And uh, they're stuck in the active. They cannot use switch. Absol makes sure they're stuck in the active so they cannot physically retreat. You have time to set up your Seeking. And if they have energies, you can just boss them and get rid of all the energies. So, so nasty. Okay. We're going to be trying this out again. Again, big shout out to uh, Attila G from the Netherlands for coming up with this funky Seeking deck that is actually working out. Okay, we have one Goldeen. This is also a, a, a wash water energy which prevents all effects so they cannot poison us. They cannot like the special effects and all that. Prevents all the effects, only damage. Another Gorman dies. This guy is gonna be stuck if we get ourselves fighting Dojo. Gorman dies. Little Sloan Snorlax. No energies inside just yet, though. Yo. Let's discard this one. And we get three cards. Whee. Okay, we have the Ordinary Rod to shuffle that back. Interesting. Okay, do this. Retreat to the doll. Yeah. Pass. If he knocks out the doll, we can Rosa. If not, we just have to get along with it. I don't know what deck this is. This is a fighting deck. It could be like Colossal. I don't know how many energies a Colossal deck typically runs. Like four, like maybe 12. Oh, Flygon. I do know that Flygon is not running too many energies because they also rely on the Rosa engine. Marnie, thank you. Our hand was like ridiculously bad. For real, there was nothing there we could use. Let's see, Azation, that's good. Using a couple of Azations to just get ourselves uh, the head start is awesome. He also has some dolls, which we don't care about. Okay, there is an energy going down on the uh, Trap Inch. That means if we find Crushing Hammers, we can get rid of that. Or we can go for Item Lock, like we did last turn. Item Lock. Or Intrepid Soar. I think we just need to find our resources. Communication. He's still gonna be stuck with a Snorlax nevertheless, unless he runs Bird Keepers or Melolanos. So I'm just gonna get my fella out for now. Whoosh. Let's get rid of this. And draw three cards. Here we go. Glimwood Tangle. I think we definitely need to establish a hand at one point. Okay, enough with the items. So no more quick ball. What else is in the flag on deck? Karate belt. He could have like a way to switch around his Snorlax though, but I think if they are just run running on the scoop up net engine, we should be okay. Also, now that I think about it, let's get rid of this. Yeah, do we get rid of that? I don't know. Oh, 
I don't want to start attacking right away because he could evolve into Vibrava, which is like something we don't want. I'm actually going to go with the Zacian first because we need to establish a hand first before we do any other Frozen Lock Madness. Intrepid Sword. Okay, now we have a Rosa and a Doll, so I think Frozen Lock can be resumed right now unless he has Scoop Up Net in hand. And this list also is running on Rosas, I think four of them, so it's fine. Now we're gonna frozen lock the Snorlax until we are ready to get rid of all of his energies thanks to boss and a seeking. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, but bro, we cannot boss him. <laughs> That's the funny part. That is the funny part. Or we can just establish a couple of seeking. And he doesn't seem to be having too many energies here, so it's fine. Another trap inch. He did use communications and evolution and sense right now, and now he has access to Gormandai. So probably we'll see Flygon GX at one point. I hopefully we will be able to get ourselves a Seeking established by then. Scoop up net. Okay, he did find the scoop up net. That's crazy. He would have been stuck for a lot of turns. Crushing hammer. It is heads. And we were gonna get rid of this stone fighting energy. That he cannot get back with ordinary rot. Slapping down this. Lily spoke it all and I wonder if we should go for frozen like yeah, I guess so He could go for gormandai's again, right? Maybe intrepid sword would have been better yeah, Probably Either way he's still item locked all the cards in his hands are not able to uh, be played down As soon as he like attaches an energy to this flygon actually to this vibrava I will be a little bit scared although we can go and use seeking at our uh, disposal. <laughs> okay another Goldine right here, that's pretty busted. I'm gonna try to get rid of this dolls while we can. I think stalling it out with this is better because this list doesn't run too many things. Okay, he evolves to Vibrava. Will he go for Snorlax? Put the Lily's Poké Doll back on the bottom of the deck? I don't know. Yeah, he just lets us knock out. Oh yeah, if we get the knockout here, he can resort to Rosa. But he cannot play down item cards, so he will not be able to do anything. Yeah, he will not be able to do anything. Another doll. Okay, he has access to Rosa, but Rosa only gets him a flag on GX and an energy card. And if he knocks out our Kragonol, we can go for our uh, great strategy and get ourselves the fantastic Seeking out of the list. Okay, he can use Rosa, that's fine. Just want to get rid of these annoying Lily Spooky dolls. Also, he's afraid to slap down his uh, Snorlax. Problem is we cannot boss the Vibrava, so on that regard, we cannot like boss and get rid of all the energies instantly. Gets himself more energies. <clears throat> okay, water wish, water energy. Don't know if we should attach it already or not. Yeah, frozen lock. No items for you. If we get knocked out, we can use Rosa from ourselves. Frozen lock again. I think at this point I will use Team Yelgrunt, if he doesn't have an energy. Oh, he does have an energy. Should have done that last turn. Okay, Lily's Pokédoll, Flygon in the active slot. That's exactly what, oh, he's uh, promoting Lily's Pokédoll again. Stalling it out, sure. There's we the Seeking. Now we definitely need to use Frozen Lock so we cannot slap down other, um, other things. Yeah, Frozen Lock, keep on doing that. Might as well like attach an energy to the Seeking. Like Glimwood Tangle is in play. Maybe he wants to set up two Flygons simultaneously, but as soon as we get up two uh, Seekings, we should be good to go. Maybe he's waiting it out. This list is also running boss, by the way. He's not able to play down Lily's Pokédoll. Okay, he's gonna get rid of the Lily's Pokédoll and he's gonna go on the offensive, which is something we do prefer here. So we can uh, get rid of the energies with the Seeking. This is only able to attack with three energies, which is insane. Desert Hurricane, we don't mind. We will get access to a lot of things, which is awesome. So Seeking, 
Are you ready? Glimmuchangle, Rosa, Seeking, uh, maybe a Crushing Hammer if things go well, not well enough, and a Communication, or a Communication to get a second Seeking off. I wonder. Basic energy for sure. Maybe a communication so we get another seeking up and rolling. Maybe that's even a, a better strategy. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Seeking in the house. Seeking. Seeking. And let's try this out. Roar, let's go one and two and three <laughs> okay that's it would flip again no this is fine two energies is fine ta-ta and now what he's gonna do now he can only attack for three energies and we have team yelgrun so it's gonna be difficult for the opponent for sure how many energies does he have left he did get did get rid of three energies don't know how many energies this thus runs like early game cryogonal, set yourself up with sea kings. That seems to be fine. Also, in the late game, you can win games by using bosses orders on, on uh, big retreat Pokemon and just waiting it out. Let's say the opponent has five cards left in the deck. That could be a game changing scenario for you. But right now, this guy is like, what do we do? We cannot even get rid of the stadium card anymore because he needs three energies and he's. The chance of him uh, getting more uh, stuff that he uh, can get rid of is like legitly like zero. Here we go, Ripping Horn! Huh. 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 That's good enough. Want to flip again? No. I haven't need to use like the Glimmu Tangle at all. Zero energies. He has to like set himself up with a Flygon on the bench. But then there is a, a Seeking lurking in the back as well. <clears throat> Air Balloon on this would be busted though. Okay, we can team Yalgrand later. Probably gonna have to set out another Seeking. We're gonna have to go for Intrepidor. We have Yalgrand, so we can slow him down immensely. Team Yalgrand, and then Intrepid Sword again. He has to set this one up, but there, there's another Seeking lurking in the back. That's like the hilarious part about this deck. Like, just little Seeking, it's even an uncommon. That's what I found so funny about this list. I'm having fun. The opponent probably like, uh, just cringing already. Like, what is this for a weird deck? Also against ADP, this can be a game changer scenario if you get a little of e enough energies. Uh, yeah, Team Yalgrunt. I think he will at one point like concede if he sees that there's another Seeking. Okay, we don't have another Seeking, but we do have Ordinary Rod, so maybe we can draw that. Yeah, get rid of this. Oh yeah, we cannot- <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I understand. Team Yalgren also doesn't work on Vibrava. Have to go for classic Crushing Hammers then. Either way, there is still hope for us because if he like attacks with this one, there's gonna be three energies in the discard once again. And if we find Air Balloon, that's also gonna be busted. Camo, it is heads. Okay, concede now, please. Maybe we can poke damage with the Seeking? Eh, yeah, why not? Like, at one point, we will be able to get some KOs here, so... <laughs> We're gonna be using... Uh, oh! 20 reduction! That's gonna take quite a while. Maybe we can just retreat the Seeking and go for item lock again. Probably, yeah, item lock will do zero damage. Like, that's not what we wanted to see. Yeah, probably gonna have to go for drawing more cards. Yeah, we just need to get rid of all of the opponent's energies, that's for sure. He doesn't seem to have any energies. We have a Rosa. We have Marnie, so we cannot deck out here. Mm, yeah, passing it out. I wonder what he's gonna do. Like, at one point, he needs to attack us. This is the passing game. <laughs> okay, but we do have Marnie. He's playing a lot of cards though. I wonder how when he's gonna give up. We still have access to crushing hammers. Oh, there's an air balloon. We can actually like item lock him.
What is going on? I don't know how many energies he has left. Maybe he wants to deck us out, but we do have Marnie, so... And we also have Ordinary Rod, by the way. Crushing Hammers, which we could technically use. Yeah, maybe we can start attacking now. It's gonna take quite a while, but okay. If he wants to play it that way. <clears throat> Could have gotten a lot of attacks off already, by the way. Okay, now he's attacking. <laughs> now this doesn't make any sense anymore. But he did play down a card. Oh yeah, we should have used that uh, Rippling Horn attack. Wow, tree, that's crazy. <laughs> what is going on? The opponent is like, do I attach? No, I do not attach. Pierce. This is gonna be a slow death for the opponent for sure. Only has 10 cards left. Okay, another one of the attachments. A rippling horn. Yeah, two, that's fine. Our uh, average is pretty high with the Rippling Horn. <laughs> this guy keeps on hanging in there. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Just passing it out. Do both. <laughs> okay, guys, I know this is a slow game, but this guy uh, doesn't know when to give up. Pierce. Almost has access to all of his cards, by the way. And we still have access to Marnie. Okay, he, now he attaches some energies. That's good. So this Seeking is going on the offensive. At one point, we will take prize cards and we still have like so many Marnies left, it's insane. At one point we can also like boss the Flygon and get rid of a lot of energies, which is that something, if he attaches another energy, I will do that. Okay, he does not. Beers. Three cards left. What now? What now? We are gonna Marnie. <laughs> Let's play again. Yes. 25 cards back. How many cards does he have left? 28. Oh, this is gonna be a slow grind. Pierce. We have more Marnie, so we can keep going. We can keep doing this all day long, man. This attacking, seeking for ya. Well, isn't there an auto uh, attack button here? He doesn't have energy, so it's fine. Maybe he's also playing Ordinary Rod. Whatever the case, the Seeking is gonna go crazy and knock all of everything. <laughs> they just can see, yeah! Now they realize it, like, we have Marnie, we can keep doing this all and over again. So, a Seeking starts attacking as soon as the opponent is out of energy. So that's crazy! Who wants to face off against Seeking now? Ooh, Welder Ducks a little bit tricky because they can get lots of energies and play very quickly. Tails never fails. Ah. Okay, what is the opponent gonna be playing? I'm very curious for sure. We start off with Zation. That's not good. I actually want to start off with Kryganol, but okay. Nothing you can change about that. He does go first. We can money him to a low hand size and then Intrepid Sword. Nothing to work with, that's good. Evolution Incense, also not good. Glimmer Tangle, do we wait with it? Yeah. It's gonna have to be Marnie. We do have Air Balloons to get Zacian out of the active if we draw into them. 
Okay, mm either way, Zacian does draw us cards, so let's go with this. We're gonna go with Communication. Don't wanna discard your Glimwood Tangles, never do that. Get yourself a little. Goldeen. And Trapezoid. Okay, we have not a lot of things to work with. Hopefully he will not be able to like instantly like Welder, Switch, KO, BAM! We do have Yelgruns to slow him a lot, down a little bit. Oh, it's Electromagnetic Radar, it's Pika. Pika Ram, hello. Why are you disguising yourself as a Charizard deck box? Hello Pika, how you doing? Pika Ram, how many energies? Technically, maybe like 14 at max. That's still a little bit of a high number though. Probably gonna have to like uh, use Yelgrunt to put that energy back in his hand. No lightning energy in the discard pile just yet. There's crushing. He's also playing hammers. Everybody's playing hammers. What is this? Air balloon. Love to see that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I actually want to like item lock him, like boss stall him. Unless they are playing like Melolanos in their list. Oh, he gets rid of like the speed lighting energy. That's already an energy in the discard pile. Raichu and Alolan Raichu Tag Team GX. Marnie, thank you. Our hand was like crazy. Our hand was crazy. Either an energy and air balloon and boss, or just boss in general. I think we will have to make sure this guy cannot retreat, right? Or like slapping down the Mew as well at one point. Hmm, interesting. It's time for Marnie again. We have the Mew, not gonna slap it down just yet. We're gonna have to wait until he like gets all the energies onto his fella. Also have this at our disposal, which is pretty nice. Not gonna evolve just yet because he could go and boss A and go after us. It's heads, cool. On the other hand, he can go after the Goldeen anyhow. Where are the air balloons? We need the air balloons so we can do some stuff and like try gonna lock you or something. One energy. Is that an energy switch in the discard as well? That's pretty nice to see. No Tapu Koko Prism Madness. He can go for the Bolton and try to get an attack off. A research. Uh, dig deeper to the deck. Get rid of more energies. Hopefully Tapu Koko Prism Star is prized. Oh, it's with Mewtwo. The Mewtwo in here. Electrify, okay. <clears throat> we can boss and go for Seeking instantly, but we need to find our, yeah, we have of course access to a Goldeen right now, which is pretty nice. We can get the Marnie back, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Like we quick ball away. Do we quick ball away the boss? Probably not, let's get quick, quick ball away this. Finding ourselves little, 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 little Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. That one, then we play, do we get rid of the energies? It all depends though. Want to draw more cards. Yeah. Get rid of this. Get the Marnie back. More cards popping alive. That's nice. Before he Marnies, I actually want to be attaching one energy over here. He could like technically boss it, but we'll see what happens. He could have boss and Marnie at the same time. So that's good. He can electrify again and spread energies across the board, so we have a little bit of trouble ahead of us. Or he can just attack with the Bolton, yeah, that's also fine. Attachment here. Attachment there. Hmm, we need to get out of the active. We need to get out of the active so we can get rid of all these energies. Maybe we can find a Marnie, ah, uh, um, the one and only air balloon. Air balloon needs to pop up now. Yeah, there, the air balloon. It is here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get rid of all the energies on the annoying Bolton. Let's do this. Air balloon. Retreat. Let's go. We don't have what it takes with the shenanigans. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's all we needed. Get rid of all the energies. We didn't have, yeah, our fellas over here. That uh, God Excel is pretty annoying. Quick ball. Still have access to three hammers. Yeah, and this list unfortunately is not playing Mars Shadow, so yeah. If there's a full, we immediately have Mew in hand if things go wrong. Yeah, he's uh, attaching lots of energies, it's fine. 
Marnie. I think at this point, if we find an air balloon, we need to trap this fella. I don't know if he's running Mellow Lana. Don't think so, right? Okay, to Danny GX, getting rid of all these things. How many things in the discard, by the way? Four energies already. That's pretty nice. We did lose our Mew, by the way. Attachment, Speed Lightning, only nine cards left. So Ball Stall plays our thing. We can Great Catcher to the Danny GX. Bolt arm, no! Either we trap him or we don't trap him. Interesting. How many boss in his discard pile? One. One boss. We need to establish. Yeah, we need to establish another game plan. He needs to attach so many energies to the peak around that he's not gonna be able to do anything anymore. Yeah, or maybe we hide it out behind the doll. We're gonna wait with the doll so we can have space for like uh, Absols. Ooh, this is nice. Rosa. We can get Absol. A crushing hammer. And an energy. Okay, first things first, we will Attach on the Kryganol. Next up, we will go for slapping down Absol. Next up, we're gonna get get rid of this. The, the Danny does have like a tree or treat cost right now. And now we're gonna go for Great Catcher. Um, this guy does need a lot of energies. At one point, we can get rid of all the energies thanks to Seeking. So. Yeah, we need to get rid of some stuff. We do have access to more, so let's get rid of the water energy and the crushing hammer for now. The crushing hammer, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the best choice. This guy, he can still attach three energies, but as soon as he does that, we can uh, go crazy again. So let's do this. Frozen lock. Ta-ta! Okay, at one point we will retreat, get rid of three energies on the Raichu Raichu. Maybe we should have trapped the Dedane. Yeah, he's probably gonna attach all of his energies right now on the on the Raichu Raichu, but we do have access to like Team Yalgrins and all that. So he bosses our Absol. Oof, pretty huge play by the opponent. Only eight cards left in his deck, though. Wonder, yeah, he does have an attachment on the Raichu Raichu, and that's that. Interesting. If he knocks us out, we have access to Rosa, and we can do it all over again and drop a sword. Team Yalgrunt, he's still stuck. How many switches in his discard pile? Two switches. Maybe there's a couple of switches prized? That could be the case. Like, I've seen stranger prize cards than that. <laughs> yeah, there's a quick ball. Only seven cards left in the deck, so Kryganol could be our victory ticket here. We just boss. Boss stall. Only seven cards, that's insane. Crushing Hammer. It is heads. He gets rid of the energy on the Sea King. Things that is the... His main concern, he marries five cards. We just need to stall for five more turns. So one boss should be efficient. Don't have the boss just yet. He does have his switch card, one of his last switch cards out there. Okay, it's time for Seeking to shine. And we do have a Rosa. So let's slap this down. Go for Rosa. And Rosa will find herself boss and yeah what else maybe the Mew doesn't seem to have energies for full blitz jacks though so maybe another goldine okay this is fine let's go for the maybe another absolute slapping that down is a nice option just in case he wants to retreat. We have boss for next turn, it doesn't matter. Let's go. One. <laughs> Triple Tails? Wow. Triple Tails is, is sad. Still have two Sea Kings though. He has an energy on his Raichu Raichu. Bullstorm, okay, this is fine. I think this is probably the victory ticket with Kryganol right now. I think so. 
four cards left in the opponent's deck. So we boss something like the Dedane GX. We quick ball, get rid of Evolution Incense, get Mew up in the place. Uh, maybe a Crushing Hammer, why the hell not? It is Tails, so it's just gonna have to be just gonna have to be frozen lock yeah four more turns we'll see if he has three energies left four energies here six eight ten eleven that's a lot of energies this guy has a retreat cost of three and we still have access to one hammer and a seeking play and three turns would be have to be crazy like he does have an energy on his right you wonder why he does that we do have boss if things go wrong, still, frozen lock, maybe he has one more switch left, either way, only having three cards in deck and still needing to take three prize cards is a little bit crazy. Ordinary Rot can shuffle an Absol back and Energies, do both, Absol, Seeking, and Energies going all back in the deck. Yeah, Frozen Lock. As soon as he like attaches one energy to the Dene, we can boss another one, but it only has two cards left in the deck. Unless he has another Marnie, we should be okay. Four Marnies in the discard pile. Well, we, we are out of the woodworks. Only one card. Okay, that's it. Another victory for this funky Seeking deck. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know because it's just big brain play Seeking deck. It works out for sure. Anyhow, uh, check out my sponsor, PoetownStore.com, for all your TCGO needs. Maybe you're looking for a Zation code card, a Picarum code card, Mewtwo code card, whatever you need. Trainer Toolkit, they have everything up on stock, and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.